Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to install and uninstall AMD's GPU driver on ROG LF. I have to set one extreme variant of this device. This processor is essentially Ryzen 7 7840U processor that has its AI course disabled. This processor comes with Radeon 780M GPU. We'll be installing the AMD GPU drivers for this GPU. The process should work even for ROG LX as it also comes with Z1 Extreme processor but I don't have any way of confirming this as I don't own the product. AMD GPU drivers are recommended to ROG LX users who plan on playing the latest games. You'll also get access to AMD's latest features like Anti-Lag 2, AFMF2. LX official GPU driver is actually based on an outdated AMD GPU driver. It's going to take many months for the new features to get incorporated into the official GPU driver as ASUS has to go through some legal process. I have been using AMD's GPU driver for the last 7 to 8 months on my ROG LI. If you have been following my channel, you already know this. Didn't face any performance aggression. My games run very nicely on LI. I uploaded a video on this topic 7 to 8 months ago. A few things have changed since then. I think it's due to the recent BIOS updates. ROG LI automatically replaces the AMD GPU driver with its official GPU driver. This is very annoying, happens randomly. It can even happen when you are playing a game, the display will flicker. It's a cue that the GPU driver has been replaced. I'll show you the fix for this problem. First just download the latest AMD GPU driver. You can download it from AMD's website. At the time of recording this video, this is the latest GPU driver, Adrenaline Edition, version 24.8.1. Scroll down until you find this section, Adrenaline Edition version installation link just click on this link windows 10 and windows 11 64 bit driver will get downloaded i have already downloaded it my rock ally is running on the latest official gpu driver this is its version ends with 3002 you can install amd's gpu driver directly over the official gpu driver but if you want to revert to the official gpu driver from amd's gpu driver it's recommended to uninstall amd's gpu driver using ddu I will be showing you the complete process in the later part of the video. Before installing the driver, you need to tweak a few settings in order to prevent ROG Ally from replacing the AMD GPU driver with its own official GPU driver. First open ARM Crate application. Click on the settings icon here, then click on update center. Just disable automatic essential update from here. Manually updating the device is recommended. Just click on check for updates. If any new update is available. It will be shown here. Now we need to do the same thing for MySS application. You can open it from the taskbar. Click on settings. Scroll down to the end. From here disable this setting. Automatic critical update off. That's it. Now we need to tweak one setting from group policy editor. But here's the thing. It's not included with Windows 11 Home Edition which ROG Ally comes with. You need to upgrade to Windows 11 Pro Edition in order to access Group Policy Editor. However, there are some unofficial ways of adding Group Policy Editor to Windows 11 Home Edition. I'm not sure if they are going to work. Upgrading Alice Windows from Home to Pro Edition is fairly simple. You can purchase a cheap OEM Windows key from the internet. I'll show you the process. The Pro Edition of Windows is going to cost you a lot if you buy it directly from Microsoft or any of their affiliates. See its price on Amazon India rupees 9449 Pre-built Windows PCs come with OEM keys These keys are not meant for sale Still many vendors sell them I purchased my key from Keyslow website for around rupees 180 Roughly 2 US dollars Now there is a risk of the key getting revoked in the future But the chances of that happening are slim to none In the end it's entirely up to you from where you want to purchase Windows after buying the key, Keyslow will send you an email. It will include your license key. Just copy it. There it is in my case. Now click on Windows icon here. And just click on Settings. Just click on System. Scroll down until you find Activation. Here you will see your Windows Edition. In my case it's Pro. But if you haven't upgraded yet, you will see Home here. And just click on change next to change product key paste the product key here click on next a loading process will start after that a prompt will appear asking you to restart ROG Ally in order to upgrade the windows edition that's it after restarting ROG Ally you should be seeing windows 11 pro here 
I'll quickly show you an unofficial way of adding group policy editor to Windows 11 Home Edition. Not sure if it's going to work. Right click anywhere in the desktop area. Go to new. Click on text document. Open it. Keep it open. Go to this website. From here we need to copy this line of code. Entire code. Copy. Paste it into the notepad file that we just created like this. Removing the space. Should look like this and then click on file, click on save as. Type group policy editor. We need to change the files extension. Select all files add dot type bat close this is the batch file that we just created right click then click on run as administrator give the permission and wait for the process to complete now i'll be tweaking one setting from group policy editor just click on windows here type gpedit.msc click on it this window will pop up. Double click on computer configuration. Double click on administrative templates. Double click on windows components. Scroll down to the end. Here look for windows update. Double click. Now double click on manage updates offered from windows update. Now double click on do not include drivers with windows updates. You need to Check this circle next to enable. Don't select disable. Expand, apply, OK. That's it, we are done here. Close the window. Before installing the GPU driver, just go to C drive. In this directory, if there is a folder name AMD, delete it. Continue. Now go to the downloads directory. Run AMD GPU driver exe file, there it is, at an edition 24.8.1. Driver's contents are getting extracted, wait for the process to complete. It will generate its own AMD folder in C drive. This error will pop up, something went wrong, error 182. Just click on close. Now go to C drive. There is the AMD folder. Open it. You should be seeing AMD software installer folder here. Now just click on windows icon, type device manager, expand display adapters, AMD Radeon graphics should be mentioned here, if your ally is running on the official GPU driver, right click, click on update driver, click on browse my computer for drivers, click on let me pick from a list of available drivers, click on have disk, click on browse, you just need to navigate to a directory where AMD folder is present, C drive, AMD, open this folder, AMD software installer, open packages folder, open drivers folder, open display folder, open the only folder present here, in my case it's w6a underscore inf, its name may differ depending on the GPU driver version. Now you need to double click on this inf file, ok. A list of GPUs will pop up, just scroll all the way to the top. Now scroll down until you find AMD Radeon TM in brackets graphics select. Click on next. Click on yes. Driver is getting updated. The display may flicker. Do not worry, it's a normal process. Just wait for the process to complete. There you go, Windows has successfully updated our GPU driver, close. Now we need to install the corresponding Adrenaline software. First you need to uninstall the current Adrenaline software that came with the official GPU driver. Click on the Windows icon, click on settings, click on apps, click on installed apps, type AMD. There's AMD software, click on the three dots next to it. Click on uninstall. This adrenaline software won't work with the AMD GPU driver. Process complete. 
now just go to C drive open AMD folder open AMD software installer folder open packages folder open drivers folder open display folder open the only folder present here open the folder that has numbers and its name name may vary depending on the driver version scroll down until you find this exe file name triple c2 underscore install executed extraction process process complete just click on close now restart raw galai we are in just click on show hidden icon here in the taskbar there's adrenaline double click skip current version 24.8.1 update process was successful just click on settings cog here I'll show you how to set up the adrenaline performance overlay click on preferences enable the setting in game overlay click on performance click on tracking expand FPS you can toggle any parameter by clicking on the eye icon red means it's activated will show up in the performance overlay white color means it's not activated I'll enable the overlay as well click on overlay enable matrix overlay setting checked back to tracking expand latency enable it frame generation lag value added to the overlay expand GPU section GPU clock speed enable temperature enabled as well not using voltage parameter entirely up to you GPU memory enabled from here I'll just disable this parameter GPU memory clock speed see it got removed from here CPU parameters enabled only one parameter system memory enabled expanded yeah that's it change the overlay size and just click on overlay here size I'll just set it to 130 yeah much better you can enable the overlay by pressing its hotkey Control shift and o we are done here now you can start playing your games without having to worry about ROG ally automatically replacing AMD's GPU driver with its own official GPU driver now I'll show you how to revert to the official GPU driver we'll be installing AMD's GPU driver using DDU download DDU first you can download it from Guru3D's website I'll give its link in the description the software utility is absolutely free click on download mirror download should start download it size is around 1 MB now open file explorer go to downloads there's the ddu.zip file that we just downloaded right click then click on extract all extract there's the extracted folder open it execute the exe file go through another extraction process click on extract there's the final folder open it we need to execute this exe file display driver uninstaller but we need to execute the file when wrong ally is running in safe mode revert the tweaks that we made in group policy editor army grid and my ss applications first i'll open army grid settings cog update center automatic essential update enabled close open my ss app click on settings scroll down to the end enable automatic critical update that's it open group policy editor gpedit.msc click on computer configuration double click administrative templates windows components scroll down to the end windows update open manage updates offered from windows update now open do not include drivers with windows updates double click you can set it to disabled or not configured apply ok before booting into the safe mode just make sure your mouse and keyboard are connected to ROG ally via a wired connection or a wireless usb dongle connection i have connected my jsoc talk to ally connected that usb dongles to this talk click on the windows icon click on settings just click on system here scroll down until you find recovery there it is advanced setup just click on restart now restart this window will pop up just click on troubleshoot 
now click on advanced options now click on startup settings click on restart startup settings will pop up just press the phone number key or F4 now raw gala is running in safe mode resolution scaling setting got disabled that's why I have zoomed in just go to a directory where you extracted DDU in my case it's downloads DDU folder open the folder again there's the exe file display driver uninstaller click on ok close click on this drop down bar select device type from here select GPU now click on this setting clean and restart highly recommended after the process is complete ROG LA will restart automatically that's it system is restarting we are in currently Ally is using Microsoft's generic GPU driver we need to install Ally's official GPU driver make sure the device is connected to the internet now open army create application click on settings click on update center check for updates here GPU driver update will pop up there it is driver version just click on update wait for the process to complete AMD Radeon software got installed automatically even if you don't install the official GPU driver manually it will get installed automatically Ally does this download process complete driver is being installed here yeah, the display will flicker during the driver install process do not worry see restart is required in order to apply the update we are in just open internal in software right click in the desktop area there is AMD software internal in addition current version 24.10.21.03 this is the latest official GPU driver for Ally now in some cases internal in software does not get installed automatically if that happens do not worry just go to this website I'll give its link in the description click on download Windows App Store will open up from here you need to download the software in my case open is shown here as the software is already installed on ROG LR. if it's not already installed you will see the option to download the software from here click on it so that's it for the video guys I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day